What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here. Welcome to our daily show. Today, I have my beautiful wife, Laurel, here. We have yet another major decision from the Supreme Court. This is two here today in less than 24 hours, really about almost 12 hours. Yeah. Um, the Supreme Court, with a Republican majority, there's out of the nine Supreme Court members on the Supreme Court, six of the nine are Republicans, and they are really throwing their weight around. Um, they're just uh, striking down ruling after ruling here. Uh, you can let me know whether you think that's a good thing, a bad thing, here in the comments. Uh, here today, they have now struck down a 50-year-old ruling, and this one is a major one, absolutely major, and this is going to affect women's lives and families all across the entire country for potentially how long? I don't know. I don't know. I don't really understand how you can completely strike down a constitutional right. Like, I feel like at the bare minimum, it, there needs to be like a long time limit. Now, I know 50 years is a long time, but I don't know. I'm just totally against taking away women's reproductive rights. So what's weird is that... Oh, we haven't even discussed what was done yet. Yeah, so Roe versus Wade was just struck down basically by the Republicans because mm -hmm. uh, it was six Republican Supreme Court justices voted yes and three Democratic Supreme Court justices voted no. So, um, yeah. And uh, out of the six Supreme Court justices, um, let's see how many of them were men. Oh, yeah. So get this. Of the 115 Supreme Court justices, 110 of them, 95% have been men. All Supreme Court justices were men up until 1981. Ronald Reagan fulfilled his 1980 campaign promise to place a woman on the court. So there wasn't even a woman's voice on the Supreme Court until 1981. When he placed uh, Sandra Day O'Connor on the Supreme Court. And now women's rights have been completely stifled by a uh, male uh, majority of the Supreme Court. So on the Supreme Court right now, you can see here of the nine justices, six out of the nine are men. <sighs> yeah. And you can see here in this headline that Supreme Court overturns Roe v. Wade, which has been basically a ruling which led, led, led to a federal law and has now eliminated a constitutional right to abortion. In a blockbuster opinion that closely tracked a leaked draft earlier this year, Justice Alito wrote that the Constitution includes no mention of abortion and that the issue now must be left to the states. But just last night, the Supreme Court overturned. <laughs> this is where, you know, sometimes you can't make this stuff up. They overturned New York's gun legislation saying that um, New York basically <laughs> doesn't have the right the authority the yeah. authority to as, i mean make it's, laws on gun regulation yeah so <laughs> and of course new york says they're going to fight back um it, you know the supreme court is really picking and choosing here mm -hmm. um what they determine they want to govern they're overturning a 50 year old ruling that, that led to a federal law, basically, that let, made it legal. And now, at least somewhere around half the states are 
Republican majority states are expected to potentially outlaw abortion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why don't you bring up the article? Yeah, you can see here already. Go ahead. Yep. Missouri bans all abortions just minutes after the overturning ruling came out. Wow. I, I just feel bad for women who live in these states that are not going to have access to this. I, uh, so, yeah. I don't think the government should tell people what they can and cannot do with their bodies. Yeah, so so that's the, I guess that's the, the root of the issue here is that, I mean, what are your thoughts on that? I don't, I don't think the government should be able to tell women what to do with their bodies. And it's going to be very difficult now because each state is going to be different. Yeah. Um, here, read this piece here. This is crazy. The six to three decision from the Supreme Court said that Roe versus Wade was egregiously wrong from the start. Meanwhile, this has been law for 50 years. <sighs> so, so now that they have a Republican majority, they're saying that a, a, a law that's been for, for 50 years, that it's been wrong from the start? I don't understand. I really don't. And I don't understand why they, the, the Supreme Court thinks that they can make a ruling about what women do with their bodies. It'd be like telling men at a certain age they have to get a vasectomy. Right? Well, uh, It's pretty similar. Over in China, don't they have a uh, child limit? They do. They do. And and that's the thing is, do, do we really want the government telling us what we can and can't do? Do we want the government controlling us like China? Nope. Saying you're you're forced to have a baby if you get pregnant. That your China has a child limit. Um, I mean, is this is this something that we want? That the government is control? And think about this when we talk about the government. We're really talking about six people on the Supreme Court yeah, yeah. that voted for this. So six, six people, made people the choice for all made the, the women. choice the choice for women in Maine, women in Ohio, women in Texas, women in Florida, women in Vermont. Sad. Really sad. Millions and people, women who haven't even been born yet, are going to be forced to, you know, carry. And think about so Laurel almost died having her child think about the women that are going to be forced mm -hmm. to have go and if, through yeah. and, and then die and if they have health issues and have whatnot, health issues yeah. tell them how you how dangerous i mean of course we we have a four-year-old son now but tell them how dangerous your pregnancy was yeah i mean i got preeclampsia during labor and my blood pressure was like through the roof and they were ready for anything to happen really but we made it <laughs> But yeah, and when and when she gave birth, they they sent in this kind of like SWAT team. There's no other word for it, but they they had people like dressed kind of in hazmat suits without the, the hat. And this team cost our our medical ins our insurance over ten thousand yeah, dollars just and, for that team. And what's going to happen with the women who don't have insurance? Well, especially the young women. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. have you ever seen the show Teen Mom? You know, millions of people watch that. How are they going to pay those medical bills? And then they're going to be forced to have a baby. Yeah, yeah. And, and how they are, have no insurance. Yep. And how are they going to pay the medical bills? How are they going to raise the child? Do and they have money to raise the child? And remember that the, 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 the Congress hasn't passed the child tax credits. Oh, yeah, yeah. So not only are they going to be forced to have the children, but then they're going to have to pay medical bills for thousands and thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. I mean, our medical bill was $40,000. Mm -hmm. Pre- insurance. I mean, discount. insurance paid it all. We had to pay the deductible, which was still $5,000. Yeah. Um, but if you don't have insurance. SOL. Good luck. Okay. So you're going to have to be stuck with thousands of dollars in medical debt. Okay. And then when you're born, you're, there's no child tax credits. No support. We want you to have this baby, but once the baby's here. They're not going to, Congress isn't going to help. So this is kind of it's difficult. It really is difficult. And and trust me, 
I, I get the whole other argument about the babies. Because, I mean, trust me, we have a, a, an amazing four-year-old son. Yeah. And, um, you know, you could put me on a debate team, probably the same with Laurel, and debate either side. Yeah. Um, and even Laurel will say it's it's the hardest choice that any woman would go through. But they shouldn't have that choice because everything is circumstantial. It's not like you talk about you can't put everything in a box. Yeah, and, and have everything's everything not a fit. perfect little it doesn't, decision. Doesn't in life. work that way. There's there's all sorts of factors and decisions I mean, and circumstances that can change your your mind as to what's the best for you and the baby. I mean, nowadays, again, life's not perfect. Women get pregnant at sixteen. I know. You know, and they're just not ready no. to have a baby. They're not even adults. And then I mean, we're going to be and, bringing all these children into the world that um, then the, can't be taken care children. of. They're children. They're 16. They're not even adults. Yeah. yeah. Let's be realistic I here. Mean, I mean, I, I get the I get the comments of saying, you know, they, they shouldn't be doing it, right? Well, let's be realistic here. There's millions. I mean, I don't know the exact number here, but there's lots of people getting pregnant as teenagers. Mm-hmm. And I mean, basically, I don't want to say it, it really hinders you as a person. Mm -hmm. If you're 16 and pregnant, yeah, you're, you're going to have a very, very hard, difficult life. Yeah. And now the government's going to say that we're going to force you to have a baby. We're not going to help you financially at all. So then can you imagine all the people who are going to be like on welfare and, and, oh. and government assistance? And guess extra? what? Guess who's going to pay for it? The taxpayers. Yeah. The taxpayers are going to pay for it. The taxpayers are basically going to end up paying for the the medical money because guess what? The people aren't going to have the money to pay for the Medicare. Mm -hmm. Teenagers don't have uh, medical unless their parents have it. Okay. So the taxpayers are going to pay for the medical and the taxpayers are going to pay for the the welfare mm -hmm. okay and i mean just think about all the like ramifications of of this how about if there's something really wrong with the baby but they force you you can't terminate so you have to and you end up having a child that is uh disabled or very special needs and the amount of money that that's going to take to take care of yeah, so the other it's thing just, is, is tell them about how a lot of states aren't going to allow... Yes, they won't allow you to... Um, so if you, have a, if you have a miscarriage, but you still haven't expelled everything... So, so Laurel had... I went through this. Laurel had a miscarriage before our beautiful son, Julian. Mm -hmm. My rainbow baby. Yeah. Um, but... A rainbow baby is, as the, a baby after a miscarriage. The rainbow after the storm. Um, but... And and that's why you know when we talk about everything's not a not perfect no. in life. I mean, miscarriages happen, uh, dangerous births happen, mm -hmm. preeclampsia happens. Mm -hmm. I mean, people, women die in birth. Oh yeah. And uh, you know, I I get that everybody has ideologies, um, but not everything is just a perfect piece that, of. Yes. You know, I have this, you know how I want life to be. Think yeah. about all the women who, you know, have babies young, you know, the guy leaves them never yeah. to be seen again, never to pay child support. Let's be mm -hmm. realistic here, guys. Yeah. There's millions of men. You know, I like to think that I'm a good father. You are. Um, but there's millions of men that get women pregnant and then leave. Mm hmm. But we were talking about that. Sometimes you need to have a medically assisted miscarriage either by a prescription or a procedure and there are states now that are not allowing doctors to prescribe the medication to induce the, the miscarriage because they don't know what you're going to be using it for which is a whole problem in itself because you can't leave that stuff in there mm -hmm. it will end up getting you sick, it can get infected, you can get toxic shock. So that's a whole nother issue. And and honestly, there's going to be a, a whole bunch of issues like that, mm -hmm. where stuff like that gets banned. And honestly, I'm already starting to see some things where they want to ban certain states want to ban um, birth control. Birth control? 
it, if you think about it, it's actually the same type of thing. Oh it prevents God. a baby from being born. Think about it. I'm in shock. So birth control, you're serious. In fact, I've actually seen, I, I don't know, I've seen several comments on it in the comments section. Oh my God. Of basically a bunch of groups and potential states are against birth control as well. It depends on how That's far insane. on the scale you want to go. Um, I mean, remember it wasn't too long ago that, um, they wanted the government to not fund birth control. Yeah, and they wanted to get rid of uh, Planned Parenthood. So now you got to kind of think about how far does this go? What rights do women start losing here over and over and over and over, right? Yeah, we're going back in time now for women. And remember... Now, if we start not giving women birth control or not giving them access to it, especially women that don't have money. Oh, man. Um, now, we're gonna, women aren't going to have access to birth control. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts here. Um, and I get that people are on both sides of this equation. Um, but generally, that's why the woman has the choice. I think for... everyone should be able to have their opinion. I'm not saying you can't have an opinion, but at the end of the day, it's. The woman who has to deal with the consequences, she should have to choose, be the right to choose. Yeah, and that's why when, when you think about like vaccines, mm -hmm. generally everybody had the choice to get the vaccine. Nobody was really forced to get a vaccine. No one literally, they put it in your arm. Nobody forced you right. to get a vaccine. There were some cases where people like lost their jobs because they didn't get a vaccine. There wasn't that many, but there was some. So they, you know, they had to go and find another job. Um, I, I think a, a lot, you know, most people were able to find another job. There's, there's, there's many job openings. Mm -hmm. um, but generally, nobody was forced to. There wasn't a governmental law forcing everyone to get a vaccine. Now, equate that to this ruling. Imagine if they forced you to. Imagine if you were physically forced to get the vaccine. Oh my God, there would be riots in the streets. That's what they're equating. That's what is happening here. Yeah. If you get pregnant, you're forced to have the baby. I know. Equate that to vaccines. Yeah. Imagine if they forced you to, like physically forced you to. Yeah. Like, there's no choice in the matter. No. Imagine what people, and honestly, I think we're going to have a lot of uh, backlash on this. Oh, they're we're, we're, we're already. already. They I already mean, are. There's because, a... I mean, there's a lot of women that are pro-choice. There's a lot of women that are pro-life or men, too. Um, and I get that both people, but this is where I just don't think that the government should have the right to tell anybody what to do with their body on both sides of the equation there. Yeah. And even with the vaccines, you had the choice. Mm -hmm. You weren't forced. You, if you didn't want them, guess what? You had the choice. Yeah. You weren't forced to. I mean, that's what America is about. I believe. I mean, I, I think that I guess that's what separates us from communism. Yeah. But now we're going backwards. In this case, there is no choice. Nope. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, and, you know, the thing about it here is that in the future, here's where it gets really sticky. In the future, you know, there's six Republicans on the Supreme Court and mm -hmm. three Democrats. Mm -hmm. And this has just changed now basically because... Of that. Yes. So in the in the future, if Democrats take back the Supreme Court, do they just change the ruling all of a sudden again? Yeah, I don't I don't understand that. I really don't. Are we just gonna go flip flop back and forth, back and forth, so, back and forth? So are we are rules like this and, and other rulings like you know, gun safety and mm -hmm. You know, it's weird how some of these rulings are Democrat and Republican. I don't, 
it's really weird how because I don't I don't see black and white like that. I just think about things. I I don't know. I think that I personally I personally think there's a lot of people that just see things um, in the middle. Yeah, absolutely. I I personally think you know they just look at things and they have an opinion. They, right. They don't just you know follow uh, exactly. one way or the other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Um, but that's the thing is it's, you know, if a Supreme Court justice changes here to, you know, they die, they retire. Um, are we going to see this, this reversed in a few years? I mean, that would be great if we did, but I don't feel, I don't know how you can just keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth on a ruling like that. Or is it going to take 50 years? It might. It might. I don't know. Yeah. So let me know your thoughts here in the comments. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Yeah, I have many. And uh, yeah, we'll keep you up to date here. Make sure to subscribe down below to our YouTube channel. It's completely free to do so. New videos come out here every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I get this is a very controversial issue. Absolutely. But this is going to be very controversial for hundreds of millions of people as well. Yeah. And um, future generations as well, if this holds up for a long time. Mm -hmm. So... And it's going to be different in different states. Yeah. Like one state's going to be different and another state's not. Yeah. Ah, this is going to be so weird. So I'll keep you up to date here. So click over here to see the other ruling the Supreme Court just overturned last night. Oh my gosh. They're active. And this is my video here on stimulus checks. Really big video there. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks for watching, guys. And we will see you in, in the, the next, next video. video. Bye.